This video will cover everything that you need to know about Frentech. Let's get straight to it. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a deep dive on Frentech, one of the most innovative apps I could say uh, that we've had in crypto for quite some time it is a little bit different and uh, I think that's what we like to see so today that's what we're going to talk about we're going to cover everything that you actually need to know about Frentech consider this to be the most in-depth overview or, or kind of educational content uh, where I'll try and explain everything so if you've never even heard of Frentech before by the time you get to the end of this video you should hopefully know m more than most people so we're going to cover a lot of stuff today. We're going to talk about just social media in general, uh, but then really focus a lot on kind of what is friend tech, how you can use it, uh, some of the key metrics behind it, uh, and like my experience as well. So lots to cover today, uh, and hopefully you will get lots out of it as well. And uh, if you want to move to any particular part of the video, just uh, head to the timestamps and you can navigate yourself. So let's first of all talk about like social media today. I think we all know that there's a massive Web2 focus, right? I mean, you're probably watching this on some sort of Web2 social media yourself. Um, and like one thing that I think all of us can agree on is that there is this kind of lack of ownership. You know, the Web2 giants, they own everything. They're the ones that really earn the revenue and monetize um, much more than the actual creators can. And the actual creators don't really have the same ownership as they probably should do. Um, and, and also just to add to that point, like in order for like creators to actually get something out of these platforms, there are often quite large requirements. I mean, you can't just start from day one, you know, post a video and start earning, you know, proper income depending on based on like how well your content has done it doesn't quite work like that uh, and so for example on YouTube you need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time uh, on uh, X or Twitter you need to have uh, a certain number of impressions and like getting to that mark in itself is quite a difficult thing uh, even if you already have a well-established following on like other platforms, it's really hard to like kind of shift over and kind of really start to earn revenue from day one. I think that's a really difficult thing. Um, and then the other point is, right, so look, you know, I've got um, X number of subscribers on YouTube and I've got uh, X number of followers on Twitter, but like, how do I really form that close relationship with you guys watching? Um, you know, how do I really interact with you? That is a little bit tricky and there isn't really, it's a bit, unless I create a, a separate group altogether, which is away from these platforms, like how do I really form that close relationship? So like that is something as well that I, I think there is a problem with when it comes to social media. Uh, and then like the, the last point that I just wanted to make is like on the other end of the spectrum, uh, the viewers or the consumers, how do they kind of get upside on being early to their favorite creators or the growth of their creators? Is there a way that they can possibly do that at the moment? Well, no, no. I mean, if you guys are watching me right now, how do you kind of get upside in, in me if my channels were to really blow up in future? I think these are all just a few points that I just thought of regarding some of the issues that we have with like Web2 social media and perhaps... There is a social platform that allows you to have ownership, speculate and uh, consume and of course earn if you're a creator from day one. That's what we're going to talk about today. That is Frentech. So Frentech is this new, exciting uh, Web3, you could say, uh, social platform. I mean, they don't really call it a social media platform. They just call it like something new you know ultimately friend tech is a place where you can connect and chat with your favorite content creators via a chat room it is ultimately a chat room app um, and uh, they use uh, this technology called privy uh, to basically make it into a, a mobile friendly app so you can actually use this on your phone right now you can go on there uh, and you can basically chat with your favorite creators um, and so we'll go into kind of exactly how it looks and kind of how you can use it but essentially it's a way for you to connect with your favorite creators. Now, how does it work? So users will buy keys. Um, so let's say if one of you guys are watching, you want to buy a key for me, uh, you'll buy my key and that will give you access to my chat room. Uh, and the creators, they will get revenue from the buying and selling of the, of these keys and a small amount of that goes to the creator. And so ultimately users can speculate because they can like buy people's keys and if the price of the keys go goes up in future, you know, they get upside, but also they get value in the sense that if they buy someone's key, they can get access to this chat room, they can, you know, speak directly with their favorite creators, and ask them questions and, and really form that intimate close relationship that we talked about earlier with the problems with Web2. Um, 
So this is really what it looks like. Um, you can see like this is my chat room uh, from perhaps I think a few days ago. You know, you can see that the people are asking me questions or like uh, I can respond, I can share my own thoughts. And uh, yeah, it's a nice looking interface. It, it works well and uh, we'll go into a, little more, a bit more detail. So there's two types of keys, right? There's people keys and there's club keys and club keys just recently came out. And, and this is important to understand like the, the different product people keys and club keys so you can buy a key for any person so you can see you can buy a key for ansem you know andrew kang hasaka racer who's actually the founder of, of frontech you can buy a key for me any person you know you could buy a key for uh, and it's kind of uh, it was connected with people's twitter account so that you you can verify that they're the correct person um you can also buy clubs. And so people can now create clubs. Maybe you want to create um, a, a club to talk about crypto. Maybe you want to create a club to talk about real life stuff. Whatever it is, you can make, anyone can make a club. Uh, and so you can buy keys for either of them. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about each of these in a little bit more detail in terms of how they work. But I just wanted to just put this out there now so you understand like what the product is. The product is you can buy uh, a chat room to speak to people or you can buy a key which gives you access to a certain club. Uh, and that's ultimately what Frentech is. So let's talk about like the onboarding and the interface, like how do you actually get started? So uh, friend friend.tech is the actual website. Now, when you go on this uh, app, you can go on it on desktop, but you can also go on it on your phone. And when you go on it on your phone, you can um, add it to uh, add the website to your home screen by clicking the share icon. Uh, and then you can use the app like uh, any normal app. So they don't, they bypass the app store. Um, and I think that is probably to do with like payments and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you can do that. So when you get, when you uh, actually get onto the app, this is what it looks like. You can create an account, or you can sign into an existing account. You can, you can sign up with like web to uh, email, uh, Apple ID, things like that. Uh, and that will like automatically create your friend tech wallet for you. Um, now, once you've done that, you do need to like fund the, your account with some uh, ETH. Uh, Frentech is built on the base chain, and so you've got to get some ETH on base. So there's two diff a few different ways you can do it. You can uh, copy the address, so your base address. Uh, you can use Coinbase Pay, or you can pay with Ethereum. Uh, so once you've done that, you don't need much to bonus with you. I think around twenty dollars is usually enough. Uh, and once you've done that, you've pretty much got enough ETH to really get started. Uh, and then uh, once you've done that, it's a case of like connecting your Twitter account, buying your own key first, creating your own club, buying other people's keys, buying other uh, other uh, club keys, uh, and then really just cracking on with it. So yeah, once you've uh, purchased, uh, or once you've funded your account, you can access your own room as well, and then you can start buying other people's rooms. So this is what it looks like. Um, you know, let's say you wanted to search for someone, you wanted to search for me, you know, it'll come up to this, you'll come up to this page, you can see like the activity of people buying and selling that particular person's key, you can see like their holders, their, who are they following, their followers, all of this stuff. Um, and then you can, if you wanted to click buy, you click in the top right corner, you click buy, it'll open up this interface, uh, you can see that I have actually bought a few of my own keys as well, and you can buy and sell a key, and it'll tell you the price and everything like that. So you can see here, it'll uh, kind of convert it in dollars. And there you go, that's pretty much all you need to do uh, and then you buy you'll buy the key and once you've bought the key it will come up uh, in your interface so you'll be able to see all of the different keys and clubs that you own so you can see look I own uh, keys for myself of course so you've got my own room uh, I've got uh, keys for like 563 DeFi uh, zero knowledge as well so you'll be able to see a list of all of your keys there uh, and also your club so like I just randomly created this club called DeFi chats um, so yeah anyone can join this you know uh, it's just a, it's just a club so yeah, that's pretty much what the interface looks like. I'm sure you get a good idea just from these screenshots that I've taken from my phone to just appreciate like how how the interface looks and kind of what it what what it might feel like. I mean, they really have made a nice and simple and clean app, and ultimately it makes it very easy to use. Uh, it's not particularly difficult. So let's talk about the keys and like how they work. So as I mentioned, there's there's two main products, right? There's the people keys and then there's the club keys. So the people keys are actually closed individual groups. So when people like message within my group, I can see everyone's message, but they can't see everyone else's message. They can only see my messages unless I reply to someone else. Um, and so this is kind of like a private group. So if you wanted to ask questions or anything like that, you can basically interact directly with the creator. And uh, the prices of these keys are based on something called a bonding curve. And so the more keys that are purchased, the more the price of the key goes. So it starts off 
being very, very low, but over time, the, the price of the key will go up and up. Um, and within this uh, within this chat room, you can share images, texts, memes, whatever. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a nice way to to really interact with your community. Uh, but also the fact that you have to remember that creators can actually earn fees because every time someone buys or sells a key, uh, there is a small fee at attached to that, and that goes to the creator as well. Um, so here you can really appreciate like the the bonding curve, where you can see like as people buy more and more keys, uh, the price in ETH does go up. Um, so yeah, uh, this is this is the the kind of pricing model. Um, so clubs are like the new feature. They're essentially group spaces owned and moderated by the key holders. But this is very different to the to the people keys because in clubs they're an open group, so everyone can see everyone's message. Everyone can speak with everyone now. The key holders uh, for these clubs, they will vote for a president uh, and the president will be the one who's in charge of running the group uh, and they will also earn 0.5% of every sale of that particular key. Now, one of the difference between clubs and people keys is that people keys are traded in ETH. So you can see here, like my key costs like just over 0.001 ETH. However, with clubs, they're transacted in the friend token. And again, we're gonna talk about the friend token in a bit but this is one of the core functions of the friend token it is for for clubs um now the second difference is that you can actually decide on like the price curve so in terms of like how sharp this bonding curve is so you can decide if you want it to be just kind of casual where you can have more people and and, and the price of those keys are, are less or you can put it quite sharp and make it quite an exclusive group where you have less people uh, and, and like the price of those keys goes up you know more drastically over time um, so every transaction with uh, these club keys as well 1.5 percent um, uh, some of this is distributed to the presidents which is 0.5 percent uh, you've then got uh, some distributed to the farmers uh, people who are providing liquidity for the friend token and then you've got some going to the the friend uh, friend tech uh, team themselves so um, this is what a club looks like. You can see this is the one that I've uh, made. It's called DeFi Chats. So you can see people are just talking. Everyone can see everything. And you can see, look, the president will have this kind of star uh, with with the president text written above it so you know exactly who it is. Um, and yeah, again, it's just another chat room. Really nice to see. And uh, yeah, a nice way to pe for people to interact with one another, get access into maybe premium groups or whatever, and, and kind of earn monetization fees if you're the president. So let's have a look at some of the metrics uh, behind FriendTech at the moment. Um, I just uh, put these two screenshots really to just showcase like the top uh, people keys and the top club keys and kind of how much they cost at the moment. So you can see like Ansem being one of the most popular characters around at the moment on, on CT, but also the likes of Hasaka and, and, and Andrew Kang and Racer, etc. The, these keys cost... Uh, like over one ETH each, which is pretty expensive, but these are obviously the top of the top. And you know, if you wanted to get in a group and speak directly with Ansem, you know, there's only 145 people there with you, or Hasaka, there's only 117 people there with you. Um, so not many people, and you can really get a, get, you know, speak with these guys directly if you wanted to ask them questions, etc. Um, Similarly, with, with clubs, uh, you know, you've got Ansem's Army, you've got Fight Club, uh, Damien with friends as well. Um, and you can see like how much some of these are, are currently going for, um, you know, 700 friend or 2,500. These are the, these are the top ones. Um, but yeah, Ansem's key is actually the most expensive at the moment. Um, here are uh, some uh, metrics regarding uh, transactions. So you can see that when FriendTech came out, uh, and this is when I actually made some videos beforehand, um, this is where you can see like the real hype around FriendTech was, you know, basically in, in Q3 of, of last year. Uh, and like that did die down over time, but you can see like in recent months, uh, things are kind of getting back a little bit. I mean, obviously we're nowhere near where we were back then, but you know, if if updates continue to happen and, and, the, and the app keeps improving, then why not? Uh, you know, why, why wouldn't this uh, keep going up over time? Um, and you can see like in uh, US dollar protocol inflows, you know, pretty good actually quite a high number of millions there and uh, you can see like in in recent weeks like that has kind of shot up again uh, and you can see this directly here uh, total protocol fee 17,000 ETH uh, 25 million dollars in in total protocol fees now of course some of this goes to the creators themselves but 
pretty impressive to see like a platform make 25 million in fees uh, in just a short period of time. Um, interestingly, in the last couple of weeks, like messages per users have been increasing. So there is more activity on the app now. Uh, and, you know, hopefully that trend continues to, to, to occur. So let's talk about the friend tech token. Uh, we recently had a lovely airdrop. Uh, everyone who basically used the app basically got an airdrop. Um, and uh, there was a point system before. So uh, one thing that was really, really good is that we see a lot in crypto today. We see these like low circulating, high FTV market caps where like the VCs control all the tokens. This was not the case at all with friend tech. Rather, it was a complete opposite where 100% of the total supply, all the tokens, they were airdropped to basically all of the users of the app based on the total number of points that they had. This airdrop that happened was in May. Uh, and so you can see like the current price of the Frentech. Um, I think this is maybe a couple of days old, uh, but ultimately I think the market cap is still fairly similar right now, around 150 to $170 million uh, FTV. Well, market cap and FTV are the same because 100% of the tokens are in circulation. Um, and they have like a really, really interesting model because like, um, they gave out tokens to all of the users, but like the revenue kind of mostly goes towards the team and like the LPs, etc. Um, so it is a little bit different, but yeah, I, I, I really, I do actually like this model. I think it is better than, uh, than having like these low, low market cap, high FTV tokens, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so what are the functions of the friend token? Again, as I mentioned before, really, really important one. You need the friend token if you want to trade club keys. Uh, and secondly, if you LP with the friend token, you actually earn some of the fees as well. So yeah, those are the kind of the two main functions. Perhaps governance as well but maybe not just at the moment I, I think the team are really focused on on that right now so here you go friend lps and farmers can earn rewards in three ways so they actually earn fees from every swap uh, and that's because the friend token can't be just transacted on uniswap or any other decks it's only it's only on friend techs uh, platform themselves that you, that you can actually swap between ETH. Um, there's uh, liquidity mining rewards over 12 months. Uh, and then you've got the club key swaps as well. So you can see like they just in the last 24 hours before they put this post out, $145,000, uh, well, 145K friend token actually, which is much more than that, uh, they were raised. So you can see uh, LPs and farmers do can actually earn in a variety of ways. And there is some revenue generation there as well. Let's talk about the team and kind of who's behind this. It's uh, Racer. Uh, he's like the founder of it. And you can see some of the other team members there directly on this screen. Um, yeah, uh, Paradigm uh, basically led their investment round. Uh, they likely have equity in Frentech. I, I don't know how much they have or kind of what their deal is exactly, but ultimately they don't have tokens. All of the VCs that are in Frentech token right now, they've had to go on the open market and buy uh, friend tech tokens so um just remember that like if you see any wallets or anything like that because there are a few uh, vcs involved now uh they they had to market by their tokens so yeah I, I i like that i think it's kind of fair for everyone um but the revenue of course probably paradigm will will get some so last but not least, as I always like to do, let's talk about the bull case and the bear case. Um, I think bull case, look, it's an innovative new app. Uh, I, I like new stuff that comes into crypto and especially when it's something very different. Look, uh, of course, you know, I, I like DeFi. I love all of the other kind of sectors of uh, crypto as well, whether it's AI, whether it's Deepin, whether it's modularity, Bitcoin ecosystem, ETH ecosystem, restaking, whatever it is, I like it. Uh, and this is something like completely new and completely different. And I think it's really been able to to capture that attention uh, of, of crypto Twitter. Uh, I think it works pretty well and you can have meaningful interactions with your community. I think definitely there were a lot of people who were the, just there for the airdrop. But now that that's happened, I think we'll see like if this app can really take off and people can still use it. If people still use it, I mean, uh, that would be great. Uh, remember that you can earn revenue from it, which I think uh, creators will love. Um, and even though the, the airdrop is over, it's something that I probably will continue to use because uh, I've got people who have bought into my key and I want to obvious, obviously give them some value back as well. Um, and, and what I love about it is that users can also earn and speculate. You know, they can buy their favorite, you know, creators or the influencers or whatever uh, and really get upside if their key really gets traction. You know, they can make a lot of money from that. Of course, the downside is also there as well. You know, no financial advice. You, that's something that you have to decide on. Um, but I do love the fact that there is this speculation element involved too, which you don't really get on any other social media platform. I mean, one of the, one of the bullish things around uh, Frente 
tech for me are, are the good tokenomics. You know, 100% in circulation. There's a fair distribution. There is some token ut utility in the sense that you need it to buy these club keys. There are no VCs to dump on you. No one's up a thousand X on on the token either. So I, I do really like that, uh, and and I think that's probably one of the best things going for it if you were to think about it, an investment thesis behind Frentech. But if you're just someone who wants to use app, look, being on base is a great place as well. It's pretty much the hub of social fire right now. Um, and, you know, I really enjoy it. I think uh, ultimately in crypto, there aren't that many apps that you can use where there's a, a real high amount of value being provided. Uh, and secondly, one that you can actually enjoy too. So yeah, I think bull case wise, uh, I'm a big fan of Frentech. Now, bear case wise, I think it's always good for me to just try and think about some of the things that uh, might mean that Frentech might not have success. And I think one thing is that we're seeing serious competition coming into the, the Web3 social scene now, whether it's Lens Protocol, whether it's Firecaster or any of the others. Um, and so these will be fighting with each other. But I have to say, I think the pie can be grown massively with all of them. And so all of them do have, you know, significant room to grow. Uh, as I mentioned, like, will demand continue? Are users keen to pay to use social platforms? You know, you need to load up your account with ETH so that you can buy these people's keys. You know, that is something that I am also thinking about. But, you know, nowadays, everyone's paying for Twitter premium. Everyone's paying for YouTube premium. Uh, I mean, you only need $20 to really get started. Is it that much different? Probably not. Um, and, and secondly, I think, like, now that... Um, well, this is the last point, actually. So next point is really abstracting away like the payment in ETH. So I think if people were able to just pay directly with their debit card or their credit card or or directly with Apple Pay or Venmo or whatever, PayPal, you know, uh, I think that would be really nice rather than people having to like send ETH on the base network or whatever. Yes, they do have Coinbase Pay and things like that. But I think that would be really, really nice. You know, if I could just use Apple Pay and just instantly get started or instantly like fill up my account with some ETH, uh, that, that would be brilliant. Um, and then like, how do we get non-native or non-crypto native people to use this app at the moment like it's only crypto natives using it though there, there was a like a short period of time where there was some sports stars and stuff getting on friend tech but like how do we really get normal people to use this every day um i think that is a challenge and i think uh, i look forward to seeing how friend tech address that and then the last point which is something that i just wanted to mention earlier was really did people use Frentech just for points and airdrops? Uh, and like, will we just see a decline in usage now that the token is already out and now that the upside isn't uh, as big, you know, with the airdrop? Um, as I mentioned, personally, I'll keep using Frentech for my own key holders benefits. Um, but I think we will see like a, a reduction in volume and stuff because people aren't actively farming it as much anymore. But overall, either way, look, I'm a big fan of Frentech. I really like the app. Um, I think it works really well. It's a nice app. It's got a good UI, UX. Um, it, it works. Yes, there were some times where it was a little bit buggy. But yeah, I'm going to keep using it. And I do actually like the app. I do think there is some really good value there. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Today, we covered quite a lot. We covered kind of everything that you probably need to know about Frentech and how to get started. Um, so yeah, give me some support. Uh, smash the like button. Retweet this on Twitter if you're watching. Give it a like if you're watching on youtube subscribe to me drop a comment whatever do all of those all of the above um, and uh, we'll be back with plenty more deep dives plenty more educational content in the near future